All right, so in this uh, AS400 tutorial for the AS400 i series and IBM, I'm going to show you um, the work system status command. Um, that enables you to kind of get a quick look at um, some more information about how the system is performing and memory usage um, that you won't get in, say, the work with active jobs command, which just shows CPU and some statistics about jobs. Um, so the work system status command is WRKSYSSTS. Press enter, and um, in the um, the screen here, okay, you, you see, as you see, we've got a little information about what's going on, CPU usage, um, how many jobs are running, uh, about the ASP um, or disk space. Essentially, that's what that is for. And then what I want to kind of focus in here are the system pools. And these are the different um, pools for running jobs on the system. And this is the memory allocated to those pools. Uh, you can come in here and mess with these if you like. Usually, um, in, if you are unsure, uh, there's a, um, a system value that lets the system auto adjust for performance um, to begin with. It's usually a good idea to let the system do that. Uh, so I'm not going to cover that here. Uh, but one thing is you'll notice is you have the different pool numbers. And you may be wondering, well, what is running in what pool? And that's pretty easy um, to figure out. You just look at the work with active jobs command. Let me show you what I mean. So we'll jump here into work active jobs. And I will F11 to show more information. And you see here, it gives us the pool. So immediately, we can say, ah, OK, well, QBatch is running in pool 2. And over here, we can see how much memory uh, and some other information about that pool. So that is um, how you can link what jobs are running in what pools uh, and kind of some more information about it and see why they're running a certain way or what issues they have um, with using the Work With System status uh, program.